Hello, Attendance Bot has just been added to your Slack team and I'm here for the crash course on how to use it for time off and leave management. So uh, you've seen, you've accepted your Attendance Bot invite. It's popped up as this direct message at the bottom left of your Slack team. Uh, and so the, base, the first thing you might want to experiment with is the word apply. So this is a powerful word and what it's gonna enable you to do is access the full menu of ways that you can apply for leave or work from home, elect to be in the office, out of the office, et cetera. Now, if you're a manager, you can do this for another employee. I don't have the, those access rights right now. I can choose a leave type and I'm actually even gonna see the balances for each of these leave types that I currently have. Uh, and then of course you can set it for a, a bulk duration, a few hours, depending on your PTO policies uh, that you have set up in attendance bot. All of those are elections you can make uh, and that's gonna go to your supervisor as, as soon as you do that. Now, if this, if you wanna schedule this even quicker, it's just kind of one day or maybe you're scheduling it for tomorrow, uh, attendance bot is really robust in what you're able to schedule with just a few words. So I might say PTO tomorrow. And attendance bot is going to confirm the date. Uh, maybe I want to comment going to the beach just for my manager to know. And I'm going to confirm and that's going to go off to my manager to approve. I could also do something similarly like work from home uh, on Friday or I could give it a date work from home 10 8. I could give it a date range as well, but 10-8 is gonna work. I'm not gonna give a comment. I'm just letting my manager know I'm working from home and I'll confirm. Now, this may not go to your manager if certain types of leave, say work from home or work in the office are auto approved or just don't require approval, although get as a notification. Uh, but for right now, we just know this has been sent to them and we're kind of waiting on that leave. Now there's various ways to check on what's waiting. I'll get into on another video, but quickly I'll show you what your manager is gonna see. So they're gonna get a notification on this bottom left from attendance spot. And I now have two notifications as a manager. Jakoto Lafi is on vacation tomorrow, working from home on Friday. Currently no one on my team is on leave during those days. I'm good with it. I could deny, if I deny, I can leave a comment. I feel like saying yes for now. And I'm gonna switch back to my original request screen and I'll get a notice as soon as that leave is approved. So those are the basics. Let's say all of a sudden I decide I wanna go in the office on Friday. It's as simple as typing delete to attendance bot and attendance bot is gonna show you all of your upcoming leave. Uh, now, I'm not going to delete these right now because I think one important tool is recurrences. So let's say that I want to be working from home every Monday. I can type that and it creates a recurring every Monday leave. Uh, it will even notify you if there's a holiday coming up, typically only if it's immediate. So let's try another example. Great, a current recurrence created. I'll jump to my manager screen, approve that. Jump to my employee screen. I'll see that it was approved and now when I type delete, I have not only the leave immediately coming up, but I have all these recurring leaves and I can delete or manage it as a recurrence, which is just an incredibly helpful tool.